Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel in order to display a price and subsequent um, price discount for larger amounts of quantities ordered. So basically um, a quantity discount. So I've got an order quantity here and say this is uh, something your supplier supplied you with, these numbers and these prices. So um, all you did or all I did here was to put them in Excel in this neat little table, make sure the order quantity is on the left and the price per unit is on the right. I'm assuming the order quantity is also in units. Then I have over here the quantity I'd like to order and I'd like the subsequent price to appear. Now this is a um, pretty basic sheet but if you ha order hundreds of products and you will then have hundreds of different um, price discount tables. It makes it much easier to have all of these tables on one sheet and all of this on one sheet. So you can just enter the order quantity, then have the price per unit appear, and then you can actually display the price per unit times uh, how many you're ordering to get the total price. So this basically just streamlines the process. So pretty much let's go ahead and begin. Um, all right, order quantity, I wanna enter the number there and have the price appear here. So this is where we need our VLOOKUP. So equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses, our lookup value is going to be the order quantity, comma, table array is going to be this table right here, comma, column index number is going to be two, comma, and range lookup. Range lookup here, we want it to be true because we want an approximate match. So true close parentheses, hit enter. Now I'm going to show you that it works and then explain how to change this so you can use it for your own purposes. So it says 45 automatically. Well why does it say that? I'll explain it in a second. Let's say we want to order 500 units, 45 bucks. 1500, 40 dollars, just like this. Uh, 2755, 38, let's say 8000 and then 15,000. And then if you wanted to order a bunch, you could get it down to $34. So what this is saying, first of all, it's very important, your table over here has to be in ascending order. That means the numbers on the left have to be lowest to highest, always. This is how the VLOOKUP function works, you cannot get over it. Now what the VLOOKUP function in this case is doing, remember, the last argument range lookup is set to true. That's important, we need it set to true in this case. So what it's going to do is it's going to, let's say we have um, 7,500, right? It's gonna search for 7,500, it's not going to find it. Then what it's going to do is it's going to look up from the bottom to find the next lowest number under 7,500. That turns out to be 5,000. So 5,000 we have a price per unit of $37. So what this table means is if you purchase anything from 5,000 units to 999,000 units, or to 9,999 units, you will pay $37. As soon as you pay 10,000, or get 10,000 units, you'll pay $36. So it's kind of confusing, but that's why um, you need a zero up here. So say the minimum order quantity um, was 500, well you could actually just put 500 here. But the way we have it is set to zero is saying anything, any number of units from zero to a thousand is going to cost you $45 per unit. A thousand to 2,500 or 2,499 will cost you $40 per unit. So it's kind of confusing at first and the first you know, few times you do this it will be a little bit confusing. but um, after that you'll get the hang of it and the, really the important part is make it in ascending order and know that all of these numbers are the lowest order quantity that you will charge this price for and um, that's pretty much it for using the VLOOKUP in this fashion now I'll leave you with the VLOOKUP formula that we created right here and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.